Hey friends, welcome to the ARC Sunday School at home. It's time to get moving and have a little fun. So let's start with a song. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it. We're going to have a blast discovering that God always loves us. That's our Bible point today. So every time you hear someone say, God always loves us, I want you to respond in a special way. So do what I do. You're going to open your hands on either side of your face and say, wow, God. Okay, now you try it. Wow, God. Oh, I didn't hear you. Let's do it a little bit louder. Wow, God. So God always loves us. Wow, God. Let's meet our Bible memory buddy, Savannah the giraffe. So how much do you know about giraffes? Let's find out with a this or that challenge. You'll hear two fun facts about giraffes. It's up, for, up to you to decide which one is true, this fact or that. Is a baby giraffe called a calf or a kid? Moo like a cow to vote for a calf or cry like a human baby to vote for a kid? Let's hear you. All right, so the answer is a calf. Now let's watch a video introducing our Bible memory buddy, Savannah. Hey there, friends. Glad I spotted you down there. I'm Savannah. And guess where I live? On the Savannah. You'll find me and my family on the open plains throughout a few countries on the continent of Africa. 
We giraffes like to hang out among the trees on the savanna. Trees are my go-to hide-and-seek spot. Get it? Spot? Can't find me? You're getting closer. Here I am. Young giraffes are called calves, but they don't moo like those other calves. We love leaves. They're our favorite snack. And since giraffes are the tallest animals on the planet, it's a breeze to just reach up and grab a bite. Mmm, so good. My long neck reminds me of God's love. It keeps going and going. In the Bible, book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 18, it says, And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. God always loves us. You don't have to be super tall like me to see His love for you. God created the world for us to live in. We can read about it in the first book of the Bible called Genesis. Every single detail in our world is designed by God and created for us to enjoy the sky, the water, the plants, and animals like me. God created the world and said it was good. So take a look around you. You can see God's love in the sky. You can hear God's love for you when birds sing in the trees outside. And you can even taste God's love when you eat your favorite food. Mmm. And you can share God's love too. When you see someone who's sad, your kindness shows God's love. Try to capture God's beautiful love and share it with someone today. It's a great way to spot a smile. <laughs> God always loves us. The Bible is God's true story of love. It's one big book that's filled with a bunch of little books. Our Bible memory verse comes from Ephesians 3, verse 18. Let's say the verse together. I'll say a line and then you repeat after me. And may you have the power, and may you have the power to understand, to understand as all God's people should, as all God's people should, how wide, how wide, how long, how long, how high, how high, and how deep. And how deep God's love is. God's love is. God always loves us. Wow, God! Let's celebrate God's love with another song.
hands up and never runs out on me. Your love never fails and never gives up. It never runs out on me. That was a great song. Good singing. Let's explore a story from the Bible. But instead of just listening to the story, you are actually going to help me tell it and play an important part. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, including lions and parakeets. They're both pretty cool. We can read about them and other things God made in this first book of the Bible, Genesis. The word Genesis means beginning. Genesis is the beginning of God's story of love for us. The world began because God made it. Let's take an imaginary field trip and explore the world God made. I'll be your tour guide. First, let's imagine we're going outside. Don't forget your jackets. Let's read what God made first. So we're going to turn to Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible. It's in the Old Testament. Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. When God began to create the heavens and the earth, the earth was without, without shape or form. It was dark over the deep sea, and God's wind swept over the waters. God said, let there be light. And so light appeared. God saw how good the light was. God separated the light from the darkness. God named the light day and the darkness night. God began by separating light from dark. Then God spoke and made sky. First stop on our imaginary field trip, the sky. Let's pretend we're soaring through the sky. So hold your arms out like wing and veer from side to side and we'll go flying through the sky. Oh, wait, I see a dog. Oh, that cloud looks like a rabbit. Ooh, this is fun. Wow, now that was quite a flight. I'm out of breath. Let's take a few deep breaths of some good oxygen. One more time. As your tour guide, I have some fun facts to share with you. Did you know that air is a mixture of a lot of nitrogen, some oxygen, and a little bit of other gases? God gives us just the right amount of oxygen we need to live. That's because God always loves us. Wow, God! Time for a new imaginary destination. We're off to the beach. Wow. Hey, don't forget some sunscreen. Put it all on. Don't forget your face. Let's imagine we're sitting at the beach and listening to the ocean waves. While you're doing that, I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 1, verses 9 through 10. God said... Let the waters under the sky come together into one place so that the dry land can appear. And that's what happened. God named the dry land earth and he named the gathered water seas. God saw, saw how good it was. On the third day of creation, God separated land and water. With land comes gravity. Gravity keeps us from floating off into space. 
Let's do some gravity experiments. So everybody stand up. You want to spread out. And we're going to see how long we can stay off the ground when we jump. All right, here we go. One, two, three. All right, let's try that again. Oh, it looks like what goes up must come down. God does like order, and he's thought of everything we need, like gravity. Enjoy gravity's force as you sit back down and hear what God created next. This is Genesis verses 11 and 12. God said, let the earth grow plant life, plants yielding seeds and fruit trees bearing fruit with seeds inside it, each according to its kind throughout the earth. And that's what happened. The earth produced plant life, plants yielding seeds, each according to its kind, and trees bearing fruit with seeds inside it, each according to its kind. God saw, saw how good it was. God always loves us. Wow, wow God. God. Now let's imagine we're in a garden. Everybody up. Don't step on the tomato plants. And let's pull a few weeds while we're at it. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, down here. Whew. That was fun. God made plants that produce fruits and vegetables for us to eat. Did you know that eating plants that have vitamin A, like carrots, is good for our eyes? And eating oranges and broccoli keeps your teeth and gums healthy. Living without your teeth or eyes is difficult. God always loves us. Wow, God. Oh, wait, you couldn't understand me because I didn't have any teeth. <laughs> so let's put our teeth on and try that again. God always loves us. Wow, God. And he gives us what we need to live. On the next stop on our imaginary field trip, let's go to outer space. Wow. Strap on your spacesuits. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Ooh, I spy something round and shining in that night sky. What could it be? Oh, maybe. Well, Genesis 1 verses 14 through 19 tells us that God also made the moon, the stars, and the sun. Did you know the moon's gravity affects the earth too? It causes the ocean tides. God always loves us. Wow, wow God. God! He created the scientific forces needed for us to survive. It's time for our last stop on this imaginary field trip through God's creation. Let's go to the zoo. So this is Genesis 1, verse 25. God made every kind of wildlife, every kind of livestock, and every kind of creature that crawls on the ground. God saw how good it was. You know, God made fish and birds and animals to live in the world he created. So I want you to shout out some of God's creations with me. So on the count of three, shout out a kind of fish. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, good one. All right, now shout out a kind of bird. One, two, three. Oh, oh yeah, I like that one. All right. Now shout out a kind of bug. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right. Now shout out a kind of animal. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I, that's a good one. God made everything we need to survive and enjoy life on this earth. And God said it was good. Creation shows us his love. God always loves us. Wow, God. We see God's love everywhere. God gives us everything we need to live. What's your favorite thing that God made? And why do you like it? Find your wiki sticks in your at-home pack and make something that you would like in God's world.
show those amazing creations to someone in your family. So let's explore some more. In Genesis 1, verses 6 through 8, it states God separated land and sky. He created our atmosphere and the weather. So let's create a sky cup. So we have a clear glass filled with water. We're going to make some shaving cream clouds. And then we're going to create some raindrops out of blue food coloring. Would you rather have a rainy day or a sunny day? Sometimes we refer to hard times in life as dark or stormy times. Have you ever had a stormy time in your life? Did God's love make a difference? Why or why not? <clears throat> you know, whether it rains or shines, God always loves us. Wow, God! I'm so glad our Creator made our world and gives us what we need to live. Our Bible memory buddy, Savannah, helps us remember God always loves us. Wow, God! So, you should have a Savannah sticker in your take-home pack to help you remember God's love throughout your week. You can wear it on yourself, or you can collect your stickers at home somewhere in a safe place. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Want to hear something cool? Jesus was there too. God later showed his love for us by sending Jesus to our world to rescue us from sin and be our friend. If you and your family would like to read more about our friend Jesus, look at our take-home flyer in your at-home pack and read about Jesus' love. And after reading it, you can fold the paper and make it fly. So let's pray. God, your awesome name fills the earth. It's amazing to think that you, the creator, care for me and all these kids. May we all see your love in our world and in our lives. Amen. Well, bye everyone and enjoy this last song. He's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs>